Guys, Paul here with Car Spec Garage. Hope you're doing well. Wanted to do a quick video and talk about cam timing on your Alpha motor. Now this one is going into, as you can see, there's part of the motor here, going into the 72 GTV project. We're pretty much finished with the 67 Alpha. That one's gonna be um, for sale soon. Uh, but wanted to go over how to adjust the cams on your um, two liter motor, because this is a two liter motor, and show you a cool trick if you're, you know, putting performance cams in, you gotta re-cam them or re-time them and you need some different marks on your cam caps. I found a great tool that you can use to do this. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here is the two liter head that's gonna go on the two liter block. And this video is coming out, this is episode two. This video is coming out on the bottom end rebuild. So I'm almost done with that. And then this is episode three. And this is gonna be about mirroring the head onto the block. But in this video, let's talk about cams. Now, these cams are from Sproul Motorsports. So uh, these are 11 millimeter each. So both sides are 11 millimeters. So you have your intake and you have your exhaust. Yes, intake and exhaust. So the, the thing is, if you kind of look, it's kind of hard to read and I apologize, but the um, intake side needs to be at a 102 degrees from the, um, the marker, yeah, 102. And then the, Oops, if it'll, there we go. And then 104 for the exhaust here. So you can get center lines templates, cut them out, and hope they're right. These scare me. I mean, it's great that center lines doing this, and I'm really glad that they are, but I, I don't trust these as much. So I ended up getting, if I can find it here. Oh, there in my pocket. I ended up getting off of the Alpha Forum, and I'll leave the gentleman, I think it's Alex something, but I'll leave his information. And these are metal, it's kind of, let's put them here. So these are metal templates that you use. So just kind of turn this here, and then you've got the one, so you take the cap off, and then they kind of go up in the cap, and you can measure them that way, and that's what I'm going to do. But they also, you can spend, I think they're like $54 and you get all, both the, both different types of templates. So this one, of course, is the intake. So you can take it and sit it here and then, well, if it's right, there we go. And then you can mark where you gotta be and then you can put a new marker if you want to on the cam cap itself. And then that'll help um, with adjusting for your performance cams. Now, I'm not gonna use these. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna take the cam cap off and I'm gonna go with these because these um, per Alex will be a little bit more accurate. So um, what we've got to do here, and we'll do it together, the intake, which is here, I need that one at 102 degrees, and then I need the exhaust at 104 degrees out. So. We're gonna get these done, so let me pull these two caps off, or we'll do one at a time, and I'll show you how it works, uh, hopefully with one hand. And um, yeah, and then we'll kind of wrap up the video, but this is, uh, to me, the best way to do them if you wanna be pretty close to accurate than using these templates, the paper templates that you take off. I think these are gonna be a lot better. So you're gonna uh, go along with me on this, and you're gonna be able to judge at how good they are, and I will be honest, I don't get, uh, this is not a paid advertisement. I paid for these just like you would have to. Um, it's kind of funny when I rebuilt my uh, seven, my 83 Spider, I had bought some of these to do the same thing because I'd rebuilt the motor too and put hot cams in it. Problem is I lost these templates. I have no clue what I did with them. If I loaned them to somebody across the world or what, it's kind of stupid of me. But uh, But yeah, so... Let's go ahead and get started on these caps. We'll pull them off, we'll do each one, put them back on, and then we'll mark it and go from there. All right, let me work on the exhaust side first, just cause it's the closest to me. All righty, so this is the exhaust side. Yep, exhaust. And so I couldn't do this on camera, with camera and everything, so I was kind of holding it 
so as you can see, I've got this little punch hole there, and it's in between the, it's really kind of in between the 114 and 108, but what we're doing is we're just going to put the edge of the of the cam marking. So if you look here, this edge right here, get it to focus. There we go. This edge right here will go to the very edge of that and then that'll get us to the 102 the very edge of that the inside edge of that hole and that'll get us to the 102 so that's kind of in between so i'll show you what i mean here we'll go ahead and just get the cap back on for a second there we go all right so if you look here let me get it wiped off there we go all right, so we're just in the inside, just in the inside of that mark. It maybe can even go just a hair bit more. So we're just going to line up this outside mark with this outside of the hole there. So we're basically in between the standard mark, the OEM mark, and then the new mark we have. So. I'm going to call that good. I'm going to go ahead and just torque these cap. We'll get some more Clevite lube on it and go ahead and torque this cap down. And then we'll start on the intake. But I think we're going to be good there. I think that's a good marking right there. All right. Let me get that button down and then we'll start over here on the intake itself. All right, guys. So we've got to set the intake, which is here to 102 and we've got that mark now at 102 so i'll get the the clevite i'll get it put back on here get it lubed up and then we should be able to just cap turn tighten this thing down and then we've got the correct timing marking so the intake is 102 and then of course the exhaust here um where the vice grips are at that is at 104 so we'll be good and we'll double check it again once we get it put on the block and make sure we're all timed up right all right let me get that done and then we'll um, wrap up this real quick video all right so we've got everything torqued down properly we've got the alignments are right the new marks are right so we know where things are at i'll probably even kind of mark with some marker or something on there what they need to be but i know i'll have them um written down on our sheet exactly what the marks should be. So we're good to go. I'll tell you what, Alex did a great job and I'll leave all his information below on this, but this is really a nice little case and to keep them on in and this time I'll put them in a drawer and I will not lose them. So let's wrap it up. All right, guys, that does it. Head is ready to go on to the block. We're gonna get that done here very soon. I really appreciate you watching episode three. Uh, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Also, the next step again, we'll put the head on, we're gonna get the oil pan on, and I think at that point, we're probably ready to do work on the fuel injection system on the car, and that's gonna be a really cool project. So, we're just gonna continue on putting this engine together, and getting it to the point where we can fire her up on the um, engine run stand. So hang tight. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell. And as always, God bless.